High levels of lead have shut down all the water fountains at Granville schools. Good evening. I'm Ellie Merritt. And I'm Dwayne Pullman. The discovery of lead in the water at those schools comes just days after my NBC4 investigation, where I found high levels of lead in the water at the State House. Now the fountains at all Granville schools are shut down. Bottled water is being hauled in. More testing is about to begin. Water is no longer flowing at drinking fountains inside Granville Village schools. The safety, health, and welfare of our students is of key priority. Superintendent Jeff Brown says he ordered tests of all drinking fountains at the schools late last month as a precaution. We wanted to make sure that the uh, we could say with confidence that the drinking water was safe in Granville schools. But the superintendent was stunned when the results revealed the water was not safe. High levels of lead were in the water. In one case, 100 parts per billion, way above the EPA's cutoff of 15 parts per billion. That's considered dangerous. Well, I think any time that there, there are levels above what the e Ohio EPA recommends, we're going to take that seriously. The superintendent acted quickly, shutting down all drinking fountains. We acted literally within 15 minutes of getting the phone call from the village office. Now, bottled water is being hauled in as letters are sent out to parents informing them lead was found at the fountains. With our, our kids, you know, we want to do anything we can to protect them. Jessica Danderand, whose daughter attends kindergarten here, is worried about the water at school and in her home, which is next door to that elementary school. Yeah, um, it's a concern, so I think I'll get in touch with the water and just see if that affects us here at home. More tests have been ordered at Granville schools. At the same time, my NBC4 investigation, where I discovered dangerous amounts of lead in a drinking fountain at the Ohio State House, has triggered the state to test all drinking fountains at the Capitol, the Rhodes Tower, and the Rife Center. I'm expecting results of the lead tests at the State House to come back in the next two days. You can see all my reports, by the way, online at NBC4i.